let's add a light to this scene so it will help us light and render and set the mood a little bit here. I am going to type the word light and I'm going to find an environment light. So we'll add that here. It's up to us really where we want to add it. If we want to do our lighting before our camera or after our camera, I think we probably will do that before the camera. And we can wire it in just like that. If you have more than one light, you can do them in sequence. You can do things like this where you merge them together. I'm just for the sake of demonstration purposes, showing a couple different workflows here. So you can merge those in if you wanted to, and then merge that entire branch that way. There are a bunch of different ways of doing this. None are really better than any others. Um, I typically like to work like this because I find too much vertical scrolling to be annoying, but that's just me. Uh, but for one light, which is just a dome light, this is totally fine for us. I do want to make sure that our lights are going to go in the shot folder. So I'm going to change that. There we go. That's all sorted out. You notice when I move back and forth, make sure that you're aware of that. There are some options in here to make it so that the scene graph doesn't change as you're moving from node to node, but this can be confusing for people who aren't aware of it, that this shows you what's highlighted down here at the node that you actually have selected. So that can be a little, uh, alarming for people or confusing if they haven't seen that behavior before. So for the dome light, we're going to go into our texture. We are going to grab our HDR here or EXR, which is this midday mountain. Okay. And now I am going to put down a karma node. So if we type karma, drop that down, we're going to wire this in, enable that. And we have to update the camera. It's looking for a camera that doesn't exist in our scene. So we can just select our current camera from there. Now everything should be correct. Make sure we're looking through the right camera. We can start rotating our dome light however we feel is necessary or whatever is the best look for us. I'll have to go back through my notes in a little while and see what camera angle or what angle of light I thought was working pretty well, but let's try this 40 degree light here and we'll just start a Karma render. So you notice I toggled down here and I selected Karma and that starts our render in the viewport here. Now this is the environment or atmosphere that might error out on us or might look kind of weird because we don't have a volume shader attached to it. So good. We're starting to render. I'm going to take that dome light and let's just go ahead and clock it a little bit more. maybe somewhere around here for now. Feel free to play with that. The main thing that we're looking for right now is to make sure that our textures are actually hooked up correctly and appear to be rendering correctly. Now, one thing you'll see is that we are rendering without motion blur here. If we want to turn on motion blur, we'll go and select our camera, camera render settings. And we want to go to camera effects and Motion blur is on by default for uh, transformation blur, but it's not on for velocity blur. So we need to select it and enable velocity blur. And we may need to restart our render here. we should be seeing some motion blur. 
So you can see here, his leg is blurring. He's picking it up rather quickly. And we are rendering with motion blur. So I'm gonna go back to my GL viewport here for a second. We'll let that render stop. And we will start to work on the foreground terrain environment. We're going to stop the video here and we'll pick right back up with that.